Hey everyone, so we are here today with another ROM review, this time of Continuum V6 RC1. And um, I must say I'm very happy with this ROM. Uh, it's very colorful compared to Serendipity. I actually was very um, pleasantly surprised at how awesome um, Continuum is. So um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright, so first thing you're going to notice are, is um, the three launchers that you got here. We got, of course, um, the Xperia Arc Launcher, uh, which a lot of people like because of well, the, the, the funky animations that come with it. If you can see under my finger, um, the icon is distorting. and. Um, it happens with widgets too, so it's a pretty cool um, launcher. And then we got, of course, the regular um, Android stock Android launcher over here. Um, that issue is still there if you remember from um, a while ago, an older Continuum ROM review. It does eventually turn out, but it takes quite a while, so. Um, uh, well, it's a tiny issue, no big deal. Once it does load up, it stays on. So then we got the Samsung uh, TouchWiz. I think this is the old TouchWiz. Yes, it is. It's TouchWiz, um, the first version of TouchWiz, not TouchWiz 4. Um, also very snappy. I have grown out of this um, launcher. So, but uh, some people do like it. Some people don't. I prefer ADW as always so um, that's my launcher just go ahead and quickly show you that with its awesome animations and customizability it's a little laggy right now but um, yeah so you got the three different launchers and of course um, if we go to about phone we find that it is 2.3.4 with um, video call capabilities, so that is awesome news. Um, definitely uh, looking forward to that, although we do not have a front facing camera, but um, hey, we'll take anything. So it's got the new Talon kernel and um, a, n a newer version of voltage control. I've never seen this version. Um, it might be because I haven't really looked into the um, updating of it, but it's definitely um, better looking and um, more user friendly. Of course, um, the kernel is overclockable to 1.2 gigahertz or 1,200 megahertz. So um, definitely, so far, it's been um, it's been pretty good. So as for some features um, of the ROM, we got. A regular phone, I mean, a uh, dialer, I mean, with uh, landscape capabilities. There you go. Um, it's quite normal. Almost every single ROM, new ROM these days, has landscape capability. So that's nothing new, actually. So, um, what is new, well, relatively new, is um, the nine lock screens that you get. I believe this may be from Degray because I recognize it from his ROMs. Um, so, lock screen, transition animations. I mean, um, uh, lock screen. You got nine different lock screens to choose from. There is a lock, I have a lock screen video um, demonstrating most of them. So, uh, you should go check that out. Um, anyway. Um, Alright, so something, another new thing is that we can now play 3D games developed for the Tegra 2 uh, because of a um, driver developed by Chainfire, um, which is very cool, like if you want to play a Tegra 2 game, I'm not sure how well it will work, but um, you got the capability right now, so um, definitely great stuff here, so... Um, a huge um, shout out, huge thanks uh, to Change Fire, Chain Fire for that um, update. So other than that, it's got BLN notifications that actually properly work. Um, it's got um, pretty good stuff. I mean, um, 
Serendipity is a very bland ROM. I mean, it works, it's fast, it's good on battery life, but it's not colorful or pretty. Um, most people don't care, um, but as soon as they installed, flashed this ROM, and I looked at all the beautiful colors um, and how vibrant it was, I, I just don't know why Serendipity does that or how or if it's just uh, something if it's just me but um, I really love this ROM so uh, you guys should definitely check it out and um, and there was one thing that was wrong with uh, Serendipity I don't know why but um, let me open up the browser here uh, whenever I typed on Serendipity I would get huge um, spelling errors I mean typos the works. I, I don't know why, but um, when I'm typing here, it just feels more natural. Uh, the problem being that you cannot change that, or I haven't figured out a way to get rid of all that stuff. Um, but the keyboard is very responsive, and um, it it picks up where you touch. I mean, with serendipity, I don't know. Uh, it was a little annoying, but not too bad. But this ROM has got it right, so I'm really excited for it. And you guys watching this video definitely got to check it out. So um, I'll leave you with that. And um, as always, have a nice day.